guys, welcome back to Tasty Planet Forever! Today guys, we are gonna be going down under. So, as a special tribute to all my Australian viewers, this whole video is gonna be upside down just for you! Alright, jokes aside guys, we are going to Australia today. There's a dingo, I believe, and we can unlock the baby dingo or something. If we get enough stars, not that I'll ever get enough stars for that. And welcome to the land down under! All right, what do we got here? Australia, a land overrun by invasive species. Devastating creatures such as rabbits, feral cats, camels, yes, camels. And let's not forget the cane toad, brought over in an ill-fated attempt to control sugarcane pests. They've turned out to be even bigger pests. Local dingo researchers have been working on a solution to the invasive animal problem. Over the years, select selective breeding and genetic modification have produced a dingo with a taste for invasive species. Om nom nom! <laughs> He's so cute! This is the dingo's time to shine and make things right. We hope. Of course, you always hope it's gonna work, but it never does. But that's okay. I'll eat the crickets. It's all good. That's a very tiny dingo. Now I want one of these things as a pet. Wouldn't that be great? Just a little tiny... Uh, dingo the size of a cricket just crawling around on your hand. Mm. All right, now I can eat the beetles. Good. So we got crickets and beetles so far, and there's some sort of lizard as well. There he is. What's up, bro? Oh, <laughs> turned you around. Ow! Oh, God. Now we've got the, uh, the frog. So he's chasing me. Don't chase me, frog. I can eat the geckos now. Nice. That'll save me a bunch of money on my car insurance, won't it? Okay, I'm not gonna get a good score in this one, guys, because there's a friggin' frog chasing me around, and he's making me bump into things that I don't want to bump into, but at least I can eat plana... planagales? What the hell's a planagale? I've never heard of that in my life. It's just some sort of small rodent. It looks like a mouse, but it's a planagale. Oh! For those of you who don't know, and I'm guessing that's most of you, I actually got married in Australia. That was two years ago on the 7th. And today, November 12th, is the day that uh, my wife and I started dating. So that was 10 years ago. A long time. Holy crap. Seriously. Frog, get out of here! As soon as I can eat you, you're gonna get eaten so hard. I guess I should know when that, uh, when that becomes an option because you'll probably start running the opposite direction, huh? Bam! Cane toad, that's what it is. Oh! Is that little bunny rabbits? Well, little bunny rabbits can't hurt me, right? Little bunny rabbits, they just eat grass and stuff, so... It's all good, right? All right, so these rabbits are just called rabbits, guys. I was wondering if maybe they'd have a fancy name or something, since a lot of stuff does have a fancy name, you know, in Australia. I actually didn't see very much wildlife in Australia. I saw, like, a lizard run across the road. Oh, and I saw a snake also crossing the road. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I didn't see any koala bears, and I didn't see any kangaroos, so that was kind of sad. What was that? A feral goat. All right. Well, that was just a train wreck. Get back, cat. Okay? What does that mean? Oh, I'm eating feral cats. Hey, I don't know how I feel about eating feral cats, guys. Honestly, I guess they are a pest, but um, I actually own two feral cats, and the other cat I own came from a dump, but she's not feral because of the fact that she's super friendly. You know? The, the first two cats I got, well, I got them at, uh, at eight weeks old. Well, technically it was the first and the third because the, the non-feral cat was the second cat, but the point is, I got them at like eight weeks old, and um, they didn't like me at all. And I had to win their affection, but I, damn it, I did it. These days, I can't keep them off me, guys. They're crawling up in my lap, they're meowing at me. They love the hell out of me. And it's such a, such a big change from when I got them. They wouldn't even uh, play with toys in the same room as me. They were too shy for that. Yeah, you, you may, might not have known that's a thing, but um, yeah, cats will not play in front of people they're not comfortable with. Anyway, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I'm just saying I'm a pretty good cat dad, okay? Ugh, stop hitting me. You were destroying my score. I just want to be done. Ow! Kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? Give me all the cuts and the soldiers I want to finish a level! I got one star. Which means that the next one ought to be two stars, so I can keep up the trend of zero, one, two, and then three, and then all threes after that, obviously. Happy to see you! I guess it's time to control the wild rabbit population or something. Uh, oh wait, no. Perhaps not. Perhaps it's- ooh! Frogs that we gotta control here. Frogs and planagales. Planagale?! Oh, and there's bunnies too! Okay, frogs can hop, and bunnies can hop, and kangaroos can hop, so it's just a bunch of things that can hop. Planagales, you can't hop, what are you doing here? 
Get out of my level. So as long as I don't get ran over by any of these big boys, perhaps I will be fine. Perhaps I will get my two stars or higher. You never know. Mm. It's frog eating time. Cool, cool. One thing I've never done, guys, is eat a frog. Um, you know, I've heard of frog legs being tasty or whatever, I guess. But um, I haven't done it. I don't know if I want to. Uh, that seems a bit adventurous for me. Frogs just don't look appetizing. Like, what is frog meat, you know? Jeez, I've caught a lot of frogs in my life, and not once have I thought, hmm, this would be tasty to have for dinner. So I have... Oh, no! I was just about to say, so I haven't lost anything yet. That's okay. No more losses, okay? We're not, go we're not gonna get any more of those losses. We're gonna stay away from the kangaroos because I need to get my two stars or higher. Probably not higher because of the fact that I just got hit by a kangaroo. Kangaroos, what are you doing? Why you gotta be like that? Why you being mean to me, huh? What'd I ever do to you? Nothing yet. Oh, okay. Maybe now I have. That was two stars. Okay, the trend continues. Gotta get three stars on the next one no matter what. Even if I hate it. Boomerang, boomer, boomeranger. Boomeranger? Is that a thing? Do, do boomerangers exist? Oh God, look at him go. Crikey, mate. <laughs> What are you doing? Get the boomerangs out of here, mate. Oh, finish me off, mate. I don't even care. Right, back to eating frogs. Hope there's not any boomerangs around. Oh, boomerangs. <laughs> I think uh, Australian accents are some of my favorite accents, guys. They're just great. So guys, what's the deal with boomerangs in Australia anyway? Does like everybody have one? Do you have like fancy like Gucci boomerangs? Uh, Cause like I've, I've played with really crappy, like uh, low quality boomerangs. But I've never, uh, I've never seen one of those fancy, expensive boomerangs, you know? Okay, this is really annoying. Like, I just gotta keep moving, because if I don't, I'm gonna get destroyed by these boomerangers. Boomerangers? I don't know. Boomerangers doesn't sound right, so I'm gonna go with boomerangers. I think it's like a good little, uh, you know, combined word. What do you, what do you call that? What's a combined- OW! Oh, I can eat the boomerangers now! I didn't even realize that. Compound word. Is that, is that what you call it? A compound word? No, there's another word for that. What's it called? A, a mo it's like a French word for it. Portmanteau! That's what it's called. A portmanteau. It's when you take two words and you put it together. And guys, I have shit the bed on this one so hard. Look at how many times I've gotten hit with boomerangs. Jeez. Those things are no laughing matter. Those boomerangs will really mess you up. Listen, you guys brought this on yourself when you attacked me with boomerangs. Did I just eat a bush? I ate a bush. Nice. That is not the- It's three stars! How was it three stars? I thought for sure I was gonna have to do it again considering I got hit with like a million boomerangs. Well, we did it anyway, guys. Zero, one, two, and three. How proud am I? I didn't even have to do anything over. It just happened naturally. So now we're moving on to koala tea check. Ha! All right, so I can only eat the invasive species. This thing and that thing and that thing. So the bunnies and the goats and the whatever that is. And, uh, can't eat the platypuses or the koalas or the, what, what's that? What's that thing? Oh. Hello, everybody. I like how I get a lot of, uh, room here. You know, I, I can see a lot of stuff. Makes it easier to, to eat the little guys. Okay, alright, listen. Listen, stay out of my way, and I'll say it your way. I only want to eat the things I'm supposed to eat, okay? So give me a break. I think I'm probably going to prioritize um, not hitting things over moving fast because that always screws me up. Oh, oh shit, see? Do you see what I mean? I'm restarting. I'm restarting right now. Okay, this time, not hitting the things. Priorities, guys. I, uh, as soon as I started speeding up for no reason, well, there was a reason I wanted to get the bunny rabbit, but I failed, okay? Have you guys seen that uh, episode of Black Mirror with the little robot dog thing? Just like Spot, the uh, Boston Dynamics robot, same type of deal. Have you seen that episode where that thing is a killing machine? Dude, that could totally work for invasive species. You just you program it just like you would uh, this little fox guy. You know, I'm just a, I'm just a computer program here controlling this guy. Um, yeah, you could probably clean up a lot of, uh, a lot of ecosystems. Okay, where are the things that I can eat? I'm getting hungry, y'all. Oh, there's one. Okay. And what am I eating after this, anyway? Oh, feral goats. Perfect. At least I can do that now. Just look for the horns. That's what we need. There we are. Good stuff. Don't eat the platypus. Do not eat the platypus. 
God gave us those creatures for a reason. I don't know what the reason was. It's kind of weird, but it's here. And it's staying. It's a, it's a marvel of evolution. It's a portmanteau in physical form. Oh crap, I ate a platypus. Hey, feral donkeys, get in my belly. I didn't think I was ready to eat feral donkeys yet, but I am, and they are big boys. They are very tasty. I think I can still get away with a good score, guys. I only ate one platypus. Okay, I've done wonders for the ecosystem aside from that, so, um, so don't at me. There we go. I got it. That was two stars. That's, that's cool. That's fine. Dingo days of summer. I don't get it. We're starting off with feral goat eating. Just gotta stay away from the crazy kangaroos jumping around like crazy. What's this? Oh, eating a fence. That's what I wanted to do. Release the wild giant thick boys. I don't know what they are, but they're big. So far, so good. I want to eat these big boys. I can't eat the big boys yet. What can I eat? What are you pointing at? I'll just eat the kangaroos. I'll keep eating the kangaroos. It's all good. Go up here and you come down the other way. I love how the kangaroos are actually like, you know, um, respecting the traffic rules of the area and uh, just <laughs> kind of running in the same direction. It's really thoughtful of them. Okay, you are cows. Just cows. I didn't know if maybe they had a different name because of the fact that it's Australia. We gotta give things weird names in Australia. All right, I can eat trucks now, guys. Good stuff, good stuff. I, I don't even want to eat the cows anymore. They're too small. I need bigger things. Whoa, shit, tanks, really? You guys are already pretty pissed off about this, eh? All right. Jeez, no chill on these guys whatsoever. I'll just eat you. It's a lot safer that way. <laughs> what am I eating here? Oh, crops. Yeah, delicious crops. After I'm done saving the ecosystem, I'll destroy it again. <laughs> there we go. That's three. That's not three at all. Okay, buggy level. Oh, what? Okay, whoa. Shit, there's a buggy trying to run me over. What kind of savage are you, dude? God, there's people everywhere here. You're gonna, you're gonna hit a poor ranger. You're gonna kill a ranger. Kill the ranger, kill the ranger, kill the... Yeah, I did it, you killed the ranger. You evil person! Look, it's bad enough if you're trying to run over an animal in your car. That's already really fucked up. But, if you're gonna run over people too, well now you got a serious problem. Whoa, hey! Now I can eat the buggies. Ho oh, ho! What else are we gonna get here? Is it just gonna be buggies? Huh? Buggy conventions in town? Wow, this game has so many conventions in it. Such a, such a, an opportune time to become a giant animal. This is what you get when you try and run over a little dingo. Now he's a big dingo. All right, I did it. That was almost three stars. I don't know what I did wrong there, but I don't care. Amazing, this level's just called amazing, because why not? Hmm, oh, it's because it's a maze. Wow. All right, so what am I in, like a zoo now? Like, what's up, zoo? I'm gonna go through the zoo maze and I'm gonna eat all the little animals that I can. I'm coming for y'all, koala bears. Oh, wait a minute, you're not koala bears. Let me go the other way. Clearly I am lost. Who builds a thing like this? Who who would ever do a thing like this? Ugh, I can't eat you guys either. Where are the little baby koala bears at? Oh, I'm lost. I need my mom. Oh, we did it. It's way down here. Let's restart because it was really easy to eat the first lot and then things got a little more complicated after that, okay? So we'll go up. And we'll go down around, and then we'll go all the way to the right. Can I eat them now? I can. They're wombats. I wanted to say wallaby, but isn't wallaby like uh, a kangaroo or something? Isn't it like kind of like a kangaroo? I don't know. There's more over here, right? All the way on the other side of the map. Why y'all doing this to me? I didn't ask for this. I, w I didn't come here to work out. I came here to eat. All right, let's eat some. Okay, finally. We can just eat the whole thing now. This makes my life so much easier. They didn't get, they didn't let me eat very much. And I still didn't do it in time. I guess you gotta be extra quick on that one. Whatever. Watch out. My watch is out. Should have uploaded already. Okay, oh geez. So now we're getting big, eh? So I gotta drive around, drive around. I'm a friggin' animal, but you know what I mean. So I gotta run around. Find me some buggies and eat them. Oh, jeez. Well, at least I wasn't caught in that explosion. <laughs> Come on, I don't want to eat any more buggies. I'm done eating buggies. There, I am done eating buggies. Now it's tractor time. 
Don't blow up, okay? I need you. You're very important. Oh, jeez. Come on, guys. I know Australia is, you gotta, you gotta drive on a different side of the road, but it's not that hard. I did it, okay? It was, it was, it took a little bit of getting used to, but overall it was basically the same. Also, obviously it doesn't really matter that much here, what side of the road you drive on, considering it's like one-way streets or whatever. <laughs> and those freaking dune buggies, man, they're an invasive species. Look at what they're doing to the place. They keep blowing shit up. Get out of here! Don't blow us up! Look, I might kill a lot of people, but every now and then I save people from people like you, dune buggy drivers. There we go. We got it. I'm never good enough. Yes, there are camels in Australia. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize there are camels in Australia. They're not native to Australia, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. Apparently Australia is just that place that everyone wants to bring animals that don't belong there. So, but, Okay, whatever you want to do in Australia, you, if you want to die, that's up to you. I know camels won't kill you, but everything else will. You guys want to know what I found um, weird when I was in Australia and like didn't expect? The screaming trees, man. Um, cicadas, cicadas, some sort of like bug, kind of like a cricket, I guess. It just makes a really high-pitched screeching noise and they all do it together in the forest at night. Like, what's up with that, man? What's up with that? Australia, stop. I don't know if cicada, ow. I don't know if cicadas exist anywhere else, guys, but um, I had never heard of them until I went to Australia. So I had to ask like our wedding photographers. I was like, yo, what the hell is this screaming coming from the forest? Are the trees mad at me? They weren't. I'm getting real sick of getting shot at by helicopters here. And I know I'm not gonna get a good score because I keep getting hit by the giant helicopter balls. Oh, hey, what the hell, man? I'm not big enough to eat a, eat a helicopter yet. That is some BS. I'm a tiny boy. How am I gonna eat a helicopter? For one, the rotors are gonna hit me in the face and other parts of my body, and it's probably gonna hurt a lot. It's probably gonna probably not gonna be good for me. But hey, whatever you wanna do in this game, whatever you wanna program in, I mean, not everything in this game makes sense. Most of it doesn't. Almost there now, boys. Just a couple more helicopters and I'll be full. I'm a very hungry boy. I got a very big appetite today. Gotcha. Two stars. Like how many did I get two in? Pretty much all of them. Okay. Eleven! And Dingo was his name. Oh. <laughs> all right then. Um, right. How you going, mate? Just me, giant Dingo here, eating your fence. You didn't want a fence, did ya? No, I didn't want a fence. Why would anyone want a fence? You know? It's just, uh, you, don't, you don't need them. This is a short level, isn't it? Well, this is one of those levels where we're gonna eat a lot of stuff. Not all the stuff, though. That's gonna happen in the last level. But I just gotta eat these guys, and then I can eat the crops. Yes, yeah, so this is one of those levels where it's programmed. There's only a certain amount of stuff, and you can't get hurt, and you just gotta do as quickly as you can. It's not gonna be quick enough. Nothing's ever good enough for this game. Woof, woof, woof. One star for that, guys. Are you kidding me? I could do better than that. That was the shortest level in existence. Go. Uh, oh yeah, uh, stop. And go. Okay, fence. Gotta get the fence, mate. Get the fence, mate! Okay, good. And we just gotta go around here and systematically collect all of the tractors. Good, 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 good. And here, and here, and here, and here. And then you have to systematically eat all this stuff, okay? I can miss a little bit, it's fine. Okay, how was that? Was that good? Three stars, that's pretty good, all right. Last level, every dingo has its day. Okay. Right back here with the crickets, guys. Just chilling with the crickets. Crickets are disgusting. Have I ever told you that? Did you know that crickets are disgusting? Because they are. They are disgusting. S seriously, I've had like a couple of these things, um, like end up inside my house. One time I pulled out my utensil drawer and there was like a cricket in there and it's it was just so gross. Okay, now we eating the geckos. Ah! Okay, that's fine. I'm not putting too much faith on doing great in this one. I do not care. I kind of feel like this level should end with me just eating Australia. You know, just wipe it all out. Get rid of all the dangerous species at once. Just one big gulp, gone. Stupid frog! Is a frog chasing me? Or is it a toad? Not really sure. I don't really know my species that well. If I do an Australian accent and it sounds more like a New Zealand accent, that's not my fault, because I just don't know the difference, okay? Okay, we're eating feral goats now, bro. Time to get bigger. Time to eat bigger things. Why are those goats so small? 
in comparison to kangaroos. I didn't think kangaroos were that big, but uh, okay. Okay, now I've got that friggin' kangaroo from the, uh, what is it, like, down under something? Like, it's a shampoo brand. It's like, it's some rude to you do! Hmm? Get on the express to naturally beautiful hair with quick and easy Aussie products. Add some root to your do. It's a really creepy looking kangaroo, man. I guess you Australians don't even care about kangaroos, huh? Must just be like, oh, cool, a kangaroo. Kind of like how I'm like, oh, cool, a moose. Actually, I'm always excited to see a moose. So maybe you guys are always excited to see kangaroos. But I think kangaroos are probably more plentiful than moose. I mean, moose are really big. And the bigger an animal gets, the less you can have of them because of space and all that good stuff. But damn it, do I love seeing moose when they're not in front of my vehicle. You know, because uh, I don't know if you guys know, but moose are actually pretty dangerous. And a lot of people lose their lives from moose vehicle accidents. Okay, we are eating vehicles. Oh, we're eating like everything now. Okay, good. So it won't be long now. Shut up, helicopter. Shut up, shut up shooting me. I don't got, I, I don't deserve this. I don't got time for this. You need to, you need to stop. You need... You need to leave. Where am I going? Oh, more crops. Yes. They're not even gonna let me eat very much stuff. They keep doing this to me. They get me all hyped up for the end of a, of a, of an animal. You know, like the end of the levels. I'm all like, whoop, what's next? And turns out I'm just, I'm destroying a couple of crop fields in Australia. Ooh, wow. Dude, that's, that's crazy. Didn't go world complete. Didn't even get three stars in this one. What the hell, man? What the hell, seriously. Penguin's gonna be cool though, eh? Like, what's uh, what's that gonna be about? Is he gonna be a swimmy boy? He's gonna have to be a swimmy bo boy, right? No? Maybe not. I feel like having a penguin that can't go in the water would be a lot of wasted potential. And uh, penguins on land aren't even very scary. They just kind of like waddle around. Put them in the water and at least they can swim kind of fast. But um, I guess we'll find out what happens in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.